Since the dawn of humanity, we've looked up at the stars and wondered, are we alone? The universe is unimaginably vast, with billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars and planets. With so much space out there, it seems almost impossible that we're the only ones here. But if aliens exist, why haven't we heard from them? Why haven't we made contact? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating and daunting challenges of communicating with extraterrestrials. The first challenge is the sheer size of the universe. Even our closest neighboring star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.24 light years away. That means it would take over four years for a message to reach them, and another four years for a reply. And that's just the closest star. Many potentially habitable planets are thousands or even millions of light years away. Sending a message to them would take centuries, and receiving a reply, well, that could take even longer. Imagine sending a text message and waiting 1,000 years for a reply. By then, humanity might not even exist anymore. Even if we could send a message, how would we say hello in a way aliens could understand? Humans speak thousands of languages, but aliens might not use sound, words, or even math the way we do. For example, we might send them a message using prime numbers, thinking it's a universal concept. But what if their understanding of math is completely different? Or what if they communicate using colors, smells, or something we can't even imagine? Our attempts to communicate could sound like gibberish to them. Or worse, they might not even recognize it as a message at all. For decades, scientists have been listening for alien signals using powerful radio telescopes. Projects like SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, have scanned the skies, hoping to catch a message from the stars. But so far, the universe has been eerily quiet. Is it because aliens aren't out there? Or are we just not listening in the right way? The radio spectrum is enormous, and we've only explored a tiny fraction of it. It's like trying to find a needle in a cosmic haystack. This silence has led to the Fermi Paradox. If the universe is so big and old, where is everyone? Some scientists think aliens might be too far away for us to contact. Others believe they might be avoiding us, either because they're not interested or because they see us as a threat. And then there's the possibility that aliens are so different from us that we wouldn't even recognize them as life forms. Maybe they're made of energy, or they exist in dimensions we can't perceive. The truth is, we just don't know. Contacting aliens could be risky. What if they're not friendly? Or what if they're so advanced that they see us as insignificant? Some scientists, like Stephen Hawking, have warned that reaching out could be dangerous. After all, history has shown that when advanced civilizations meet less advanced ones, it doesn't always end well. But others believe the risk is worth it. After all, how will we ever know if we don't try? Despite the challenges, humanity isn't giving up. New technologies like quantum communication and AI could help us bridge the gap. We're also developing interstellar probes that could one day carry messages to distant stars. Who knows? One day, we might finally hear back from the stars and answer the ultimate question. Are we alone? The search for extraterrestrial life is one of humanity's greatest adventures. While the challenges are immense, the possibility of finding someone or something out there keeps us looking up at the stars. So, are we alone?
Only time and science will tell. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Entertain and Enlighten for more informative videos. See you next time.